Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome to the very first Fate Grand Order streamer slash YouTuber game show. It's a working title. So I got a couple of YouTubers and streamer friends who play FGO and I thought why not test their knowledge on the game. Of course, not all of them play the JP version of FGO. So in order to prevent spoilers, I have decided to only ask them questions up to Saber Wars Part 2 too because that's where the USA version of FGO is currently at right now. The game format is very similar to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but I changed up the lifelines a little bit so that it's more FGO themed. And I'll explain that after I introduce the contestants. Andrix, Crow Talonheart, Musaki, Haseo AMV, Mist, to love trouble and lapis so i forgot to say this in the intro but the contestant with the most questions correct will be winning a special acrylic stand that i got from one of the fate run order anniversaries and uh, you'll figure out who wins that special acrylic stand at the end of the video do you know the game uh who wants to be a millionaire by any chance sure 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 yeah uh this is a real people show i may need to know the basics yeah, of course. Alright, so you have three lifelines. Uh, the lifelines are a little different from the original TV uh, game show. I basically made it more FGO related. So the first lifeline is going to be defense down. So it's like 50-50. You get rid of two answers and you get a chance to answer a question with only two answers instead of four. Uh, the second uh, lifeline is going to be guts so if you get a question incorrect you can basically use guts and redo the question without any penalty oh that's cute i like that <laughs> and then uh, the third and final lifeline is going to be stella so you can blow up a question and get the point automatically ah uh, <laughs> cool awesome oh wow that's that's a strong lifeline dang that's exciting Ooh, all right. Awesome. Can't wait. That sounds fun. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that's so cool. I really like the lifeline. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and start the questions then. All right, let's go. All right. All right, so question number one. When Sherlock Holmes first appeared, what class did he say he was? Pastor. Oh, I, I have four questions, so <laughs> four answers, so... Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Whoops. A. Ruler. B. Avenger. C. Caster. Or D. Alter Ego. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with C. Caster. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Awesome. C. Caster. <laughs> C. Caster. Final answer. You sure about that? Final answer. Yes. <laughs> All right. That is correct. C. Caster. Okay. So, Sherlock appeared in Camelot first, if I remember. So, and I believe I remember the biggest thing, which is why I was surprised what class he ended up as. I believe he said he was a caster. So, caster is my final answer. C, final answer? Yep, C, final answer. That is correct. I believe that is... Ooh. Okay, I'm saying... The the first time was hmm. damn. I'm I'm used Stella for that question for this question. Oh really? Okay, we're gonna go straight Stella straight away. Okay, all right. Uh, are you sure you want to use Stella? Yeah, yes, because I don't remember really well. Okay, so question one, you stellad. So the answer for question one was C, caster. Caster, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, again, there's no penalty. You got one answer correct so far. All right, okay. Was it C for caster? Yeah. I'm gonna lock that one in. I'm pretty sure that's the correct answer. That is correct. C, caster. Easy one, right? Yeah. At least if you read the story, it should be. C, caster. C, caster, final answer? Yes, sir. That is correct. Oh my god. This, this story is... Uh, 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 I'll, I'll pick um, um, ca Caster. C, Caster, final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Oh, 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 oh. Yay. Question number two. When you summon Orion, 
Artemis was summoned with him. How was this possible? A. Their love was so powerful they were summoned together. B. Orion interrupted the summoning by bringing Artemis along with him. C. Orion never wanted to be summoned, so he asked Artemis to take his place. Or D. Artemis interrupted the summoning to be with her darling. Mm. That's a tricky one because yeah, I I haven't done the the they, they, wait. They come in, in the first singularity, I believe, the, the second singularity. They, they they come really early. Uh, I I don't I don't. It's been so long since I done the story or or the event. Yeah. Yeah, the the event the event was a long time. I, I believe it was year one actually. <laughs> the yeah the the, the dump, dumpling event I think it was called something like that. Yeah, the dumpling event. Yeah. Let's try the defense down. Defense down. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of A, and we'll also get rid of C. So you have B. Orion interrupted the summoning by bringing Artemis along with him, or D. Artemis interrupted the summoning to be with her darling. I'm gonna take a chance and go with D. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Awesome. It was it was a tricky one, yeah. D. Artemis interrupted the summoning to be with her darling. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Now, if I know anything about. Um, Orion's archer form uh, dog lines and like some of the very early high pitch noises. I'm gonna go with D. I believe Artemis actually interrupted the summoning process to be with her. Darling. Final answer D. Final answer. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I'm tell you that is the number the letter D. Letter D, Artemis interrupted the summoning with be, uh, to be with her darling. Final answer? Final answer. That is correct. Damn, okay, that's a tough one, actually. <laughs> Dude, it's, so, it's such an old servant, too. I remember when Moon Goddess happened. Even on NA, it was a long time ago. Ooh, that is a tough one. Damn. Okay, you, you weren't kidding when you said some of these might be hard. I, I'm not sure if I want to use a lifeline immediately, to be honest. But, like, uh, since you don't lose immediately, hmm... That's a tough one. I want to say A, but hmm. honestly, because these are not in difficulty. I'm honestly feeling like stella in this, to be honest, even though it is the strongest one. Oh, Stella, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you kinda want those points, you know? Like, I, I, I'm not confident here. I want to say A, but honestly, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm, you know what? Let's do the Stella thing. All right. Stella it is. <laughs> So the answer for question number two was D. Artemis interrupted the summoning to be with her darling. Okay, I'm really happy I did that then. Okay, okay. I was not confident. Those those were all good options, by the way. I, they all seem plausible. I believe that's a D. A D? Artemis interrupted the summoning to be with her darling? I believe so. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Oh, uh, that one was an old one. But yeah, I remember she... She basically didn't want him snooping around and... Uh, D. I think it's D. Final answer? Uh, yeah. That is correct. Oh, oh. Whoa, okay, thanks. Alright, so, question number three. What is the name of Ishtar's primary weapon? A. Angalta Kigalse B. Manna, the Boat of Heaven C. Kur Kigal Erkala or D Gugalana, the Bowl of Heaven. I'm gonna go with B Mana. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. I'm gonna go with B Mana, the boat of heaven, yeah. Final answer? Final answer. That's correct. Yeah. The main weapon. Oh my god. Oh man. Alright, I should know this, as I use Ishtar literally all the time. But you said the name of the weapon, not the the noble phantasm. Alright. Um, and we all know it's not the bull. I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna go with the boat, actually. According to lore, I believe that was a boat. That is correct. All right, yeah. <laughs> I think that question has that's a trick, but I think it's B. B. Mana, the boat of heaven. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Okay, th I feel like this one might be one of those trick questions. You say primary weapon, huh? That is correct. What was C again? C was Kirkigal Erkala. Okay, that's clearly wrong, because that's Ereshkigal's MP, right? And I'm pretty sure A is her MP, but does that count as a weapon? Because the other two are things she supposedly possesses, right? But I'm not sure, like, this is, this is kind of a trick question, right? I almost want to say A, because, you know, noble phantasms can be considered weapons, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's her MP, right? I can't really help you there, but... Okay, okay, okay. Hmm... It, what, Mana was one of them, right? Uh, yeah, that it is B. Mana, the boat of heaven. That's her. That's her bow, right? Honestly, I'm gonna say that then, because I'm pretty sure that's also in her MP line where she says, "Let's fly, Mana," right? You want to do B final answer? I think I'm gonna final answer this without using more lifelines, even if it's wrong. Let's see. The answer is B. Mana. <laughs> it, it is the. Pri it is her primary weapon. Yes. Let's go. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, good thing I remember the MP line. Okay. That should be B. Man. Final answer? Yes, sir. That is correct. Oh my god. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Mm, uh, uh. Oh, I'll, I'll use a defense down because I don't know. Defense down? The, okay. So we'll go ahead and get rid of C and D. So you have A, Angal Talkigalse and B, Mana, the Boat of Heaven. I'll go with B? Mana, the, the boat. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. All right, here we go. Question number four. How much does Nero Claudius weigh in kilograms? Kilograms? I haven't had that in five million years. I just got adjusted to Fahrenheit. Oh, dude, European advantage. Let's go. A, 42 kilograms, B, 52 kilograms, C, 155 kilograms, and D, 89 kilograms. Mm -hmm. It's definitely between A and B, it's because there's not much difference between those, and she's, she's a small servant. Let's go with B, 50 something. 52, B, final answer. Final answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Would you like to use guts or would you just like to skip this question? If you use guts, this doesn't count as a wrong answer. Go and, and answer again if I use guts. A, 40, 42, final answer. That is correct. Can I use the defense down life uh, lifeline, please? Defense down. So we'll go ahead and get rid of uh, B, 52 kilograms and D, 89 kilograms. So as of right now, you still have A, 42 kilograms, and C, 155 kilograms. I'm gonna go with A, 42 kilograms. That is correct. I think I need to, to use a lifeline <laughs> on this one, because I, I really don't, I should know, but like, I haven't looked at Nero's bio in a long time. Uh, hmm. I think, uh, if possible, I would like to do a uh, defense down on this one. Defense down, all right. So we'll go ahead and get rid of B and C. So you have A, 42 kilograms, and D, 89 kilograms. And I'm glad I did that because I was going to probably say B. So I'm really glad <laughs> that is gone. Um, I'm going to guess. Because I know how small she is. I'm going to go with A. That is correct. All right. Yeah. <laughs> She's not that tall. So maybe C and D are incorrect. And I, A or B. But B is maybe for a, a woman more 
fall, so I am say eight. That is correct. Honestly, I think I'm gonna answer this without. I, I don't know what the actual number is, but based on the options, I think I have a good estimate here because I know, like, or most people know, right? That Umu Nero, she's really short, right? Like, she's really short. So I'll and she's not fat or anything, of course. So I almost want to say 42, which is A, right? Was it? Uh, 42 is A. Final answer. What was B? B is 52. I think it's between those two. But I think I'm not going to use a lifeline. This is still question four. And I only have two remaining. So honestly, I think I'm going to go with my gut here. No pun intended. And just uh, pick A. Because she, she's short, right? Okay. I'm just going to pick A. Final answer. That is correct. Oh, let's go. Okay. So many foot the nasal. Um, I think it's A. That is correct. Hey! I'll pick 52. That is incorrect. Did you want to use the lifeline or did you want to just keep going? I'll just keep going. It's okay. What if there's harder ones later on? I have to save. All right. So question number five. What universe is Mysterious Heroine X and Mysterious Heroine X Alter from? A. Mysterious Heroine Universe, B, Kill All Saber Face Universe, C, Servant Universe, or D, Caliber Universe. C, Servant Universe. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. B, Servant Universe. That is correct. Pretty sure that should have been an easy one for you, right? <laughs> I had to second guess myself. I was like, is there a, jo is there a joke that I'm missing? No, it's fine. It's fine. I, I, I read the story. <laughs> Considering we are just, in, at least in NA, we're in Saber Wars 2 now, uh, so I'm gonna have to go with Servantverse for the universe that they are from. That is correct. So that should have been an easy one, especially if you read the story, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes! No, I, I used to make, I still make, like, skits and stuff, so we all, we're in there, we're in that lore. I said on face, you No, we can be close to one. I, I feel is the Caliber Universe. So D, Caliber Universe. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Oh, I see, right? And would you like to use Guts or would you like to skip the, would you like to save it for the next questions? I'm, I'm use Guts. You use Guts, okay. Uh, C, Servant Universe. That is correct, Servant Universe. Okay, B is clearly wrong, but man, that is funny actually. I I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Someone who's more plausible could probably, or gullible, could probably um, pick that. But I'm pretty damn sure, even if you didn't give me the options, it is C, Servant Universe. So again, I'm not going to use lifelines, just going to lock in C, right? Servant Universe. Final answer. Uh, it should be C, Servant Universe. That is correct. Uh, I'm going to go with kill all the Saber one, because it sounds funny. <laughs> so B, kill all Saber face universe? Yeah, 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 ha. Incorrect. Did we want to use a lifeline or? Uh, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Question number six. BB Moon Cancer has the following traits. Female, Hominadier Servant, Humanoid, Servant, Weak to Enema Elish, and one of the following. A, Mechanical, B, Pseudo servant, C Mato Sakura, or D writing. Hmm. I'm gonna go with B pseudo servant. B pseudo servant. Man, this is hard. <laughs> Cause a part of me wants to say pseudo servant because I remember seeing a Sakura face under the pseudo servant tag, but that's Parvati <laughs> and Kama. I don't know if that's BB, who is technically a program in the moon cell. Man, I might actually get this wrong. <laughs> uh, it, it feels it feels like something I should know, but I know it's not. So I know it's not writing. I know it's not. That's because that's a that's a passive a trait. Uh, I don't believe Sakura Mato or Sakura is a trait yet so that leaves a mechanical or pseudo 
Let's go with... Oh, God, why is this hard? This is just a game show. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think I'm feeling the who, who wants to be a billionaire vibe. Uh, I think I want to go with... A mechanical servant? Or a mechanical? Final answer. For this card, is A. Okay, I'm pretty sure Sakura is not a trait. Writing is a passive. Unless I'm missing something crazy, it's no way it's mechanical, right? This could be a trick question. I don't remember her pa uh, like traits, but it should be Beast for pseudo servant, right? So again, I'm just gonna go with my gut here and just pick B for pseudo servant. Final answer. A lot of people would go for pseudo, but I think it's mechanical because. They recently added that mechanical tray ever since that came along. So it should be. Uh, no, she used to be that. So, yes, it should be mechanical. Okay, I'll, I'll pick mechanical. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The answer was a mechanical. Really? Wow. I didn't expect that. Oh, is it mechanical? Wait, what is it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank god. That one is a spooky one. Oh, wow. Nice. Do we want to use that lifeline or...? Yeah, I'll use Guts. I'll go with D, writing. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. It is A, mechanical. Ah. Uh... I'll take the L on that one. <laughs> Alright, question number seven. How does Okita Soji's command card deck look like? A, quick arts arts buster buster b quick quick arts buster buster c quick 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 arts buster or d quick quick arts arts buster d d quick quick arts arts buster wait let me think about it i'm trying to remember if okita has one art cards or two I know she has only one buster card, so it's a matter of if she has three quick cards or two quick cards. I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, let's go with the quick, quick, arts, arts, buster. That is incorrect. The answer is B. Quick, quick, arts, buster, buster. Oh, she has two buster cards? I, why did I think she only have one buster card? The quick, 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 arts, buster. That is incorrect. <laughs> it is B, Quick Quick, Arts, Buster Buster. I always forget she has two Buster cards. I should know this. Because <laughs> I still use Oki to Soji. Literally. All the time. And now that you've asked me the question, it's like my mind went poof. That, that's not here. No, it's not Quick Quick Quick, because that's the Assassin version. This is Saber Oki to Soji, right? Uh, yeah, there is no J in the middle, so... That is... You're right. That's right, that's right. Okay. By the way, you're, you're the first one that caught that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I had to make that distinction, because I'm like, okay, the J is important, and the, the, de the decks are very different, so... I want to say, and I could be wrong, but I want to say it's Quick Quick Arts Arts Buster. Only because there's a lot. I remember Okita Alter having quick, quick Buster Buster arts and noting how they wanted to focus on the, the quick and Buster. And I believe Okita being a year one servant, the decks were, they were still trying to figure out decks. And I remember seeing a lot of arts, quick arts, like quick, quick chains. I could be remembering this wrong, but I'm gonna go with that. So I think that was D. That was quick, quick arts, arts buster. So yeah, D, quick, quick arts, arts buster. Final answer. Final answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Damn. Fucks. It was quick, quick arts buster buster, wasn't it? I can't say it because you still have a lifeline. Did you want to use that? Yes, I'll do it. Okay, cool. So I'm going with the quick, quick arts buster buster deck. That is correct. Okay, dude, 
I am gonna disqualify myself if I get this wrong. I am actually not 100% confident, but I'm pretty sure it's B, right? Buster, Buster, Quick, Quick, Arts. You'd think that she would be triple quick, right? Because she's a very famous quick unit, but I'm pretty sure she has two busters. Dude, I'm gonna dude, I, I, I censor this video if I get this wrong. My my OG wife, okay? Dude, I'm gonna be mad. I'm not even gonna use a life light here, but I am gonna pick B, <laughs> right? For B, B, A, Q, Q. Final answer? Final answer, yeah. All right. Missed. You got it right. Okay, dude. I was actually swear. I I knew I, I was pretty confident, but for some reason, a part of me wanted to say she has triple quick. No, she doesn't. I should know this, and I do know this. Okay, I'm happy with that. No, because it can't be triple quick because it's too convenient. Because that would be broken. Uh, it should be quick quick, art, buster buster. That is correct. It's C, C. The 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 three quicks one. That is incorrect. What? No! I'm so sad. Do we want to use the guts? Okay, I'll, I'll use guts. Uh, okay, it's the... It's the... The quick, quick... Arts Buster Buster one? That is correct. Alright, question number eight. What is Sakata Kintoki's favorite holiday? A. Golden Festival B. Golden Holiday C. Golden Week D. Golden Day Let's go with C. Golden Week That is correct C. Golden... Wait, uh... I'll use Stella... I'll use Stella on this one I am only going to the fact that I know of this holiday thanks to Persona 4. I'm going to say Golden Week. C, Golden Week, final answer. Because that's the only one I know <laughs> there's an actual holiday. So I could be wrong. This could be my first wrong. Okay, I'm going to say Golden Week. Or second, technically. Golden Week here. That is correct. Yeah. That was really funny because I remember that in, in Japan, how something like say golden week so i you, i put the letter c yeah golden that is correct okay um i'm gonna save my lifelines for the last two so i'm gonna lock in c for golden week because i know it's a real thing that is correct let's go uh i'll go with a the festival one that is incorrect the right answer was c golden week oh my gosh that was my first answer but i was like but, but isn't Kintoki, he's like not modern, right? Did they have Golden Week back in the day? Back in the day, no, but... <laughs> but out of all the answers, Golden Week is the only one that exists. All right, question number nine. What is Yang Queen's noble phantasm type? Yang Queen is a Shinjiku assassin. A, Buster. B, Arts. C, Quick. D, Extra. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, he's not going to say extra, is he? Extra. Okay. <laughs> I just saw him. <laughs> just, I, I was spooked by him today. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. I think it's B, Arts. Unfortunately, that is the wrong answer. Ah, he's, he's quick. It is C, quick. Yeah. Quick. C. I'm going to say quick. As far as my knowledge goes, Yang Queen was a quick base servant. And I believe the MC final answer. E is quick, then C. Isn't it C for quick then? Uh, arts? Wait, no, not arts. Uh, wait. Oh my god, it's that guy. Uh, I'll go with quick. Quick? Quick? MP? That is correct. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that was so easy. Okay, let's go. Young Queen? The assassin of Shinjuku. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, assassins of Shinjuku. I never hear that name anymore, you know? Like, a lot it, a lot of people now season as that, and Japanese writes it as that too, but I always call him Shinjuku of Assassin. Should be quick. That is correct. Yes. Question number 10. When did the USA version of Fate Grand Order release? A. July 30th, 2017 B. June 30th, 2017 C. 
June 25th, 2017. D, June 21st, 2015. It should be June 25th, 2017. See. I'll go June 25th, 2017. I have a good idea here, but you know what? I, I If I have the lifelines, I might as well use them, right? So <clears throat> let's start with the 50-50, which was, what was it called? The defense down. There you go. We're going to be getting rid of A, July 30th, 2017, and we're going to get rid of June 21st, 2015, which is D. So you have B, June 30th, 2017, and C, June 25th, 2017. Mm -hmm, I see what you did there. <clears throat> you left the hardest ones, but you know, that's fair. Oh, but I should get this correct by proxy, right? Because of the guts. So, but let's see, I, I kind of want to get it right the first time. So what was it, uh, June 30th and June 25th? That is correct, yes. Damn, I'm a day one player, but man, that was a long time ago. That was over four years ago. Even on NA, time flies, man. Man, I, sh I, I really want to get this right, actually. My day one pride is at stake here. I will get it right via the uh, lifeline, but let's see. 25th or 30th. I almost want to say 30th. Okay, I'm going to say 30th. And if need to, I'll obviously guts, but okay. I'm going to say 30th, final answer. Okay, mm, let me see. I mean, I was close to Anime Expo. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll go with the, the June 25 one. I'm saying B. Funny story. I actually memorized the date and I waited all day. <laughs> When Fake Red Order came out in it, because I actually played JP when it first came out. And so I was like, I can finally read it in English and understand it. And I was actually contemplating being a content creator at that point. Um, I missed the date because I backed out, but I remember I did it a month later and I was like, okay. I lined up with the OG Fake Grand Order uh, at a date of start, so I felt better. but. Answer is going to be June 25th, 2017. Is that your final answer? Are you sure you don't want to use Stella? <laughs> final answer. I'm doing it. On the line. June 25th, 2017. That is correct. Woo! Nice. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> I was doing the math in my head. Like, which anniversary did we just have? Yeah. Man. Ah, I have to guts it then. Ah, oh, I'm actually, I mean, I'm, I, obviously I still get the question right, but man, I'm kind of sad because I'm a day one player. So actually, I, I, I kind of, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. Thanks for doing this with me. It was fun. No, thank you. Th thank you for doing this. It's, it's, it's really, really fun. Uh, and um, I'm so happy to be a part of it. No problem. It was my pleasure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for inviting me. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you very much for that type of experience. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'll gladly come aboard again if uh, if needed or if called, rather. That was awesome. Let's do it again. Awesome. Thank you so much. So once again, thank you to all those who participated in this video. It was really fun to make and edit. I deeply apologize for delaying this video for so long. I was supposed to release it a couple weeks ago, but you know, stuff came up. But uh, I was able to release it, so yay. And uh, definitely in the future, let's go ahead and make some more collab videos. I really am excited because I do have a couple things I have planned out. And hopefully I can have the time to you know record and schedule with you guys. Uh, I do plan on inviting other content creators who did not participate. So for those who do want to collab, comment down below and tell me or message me directly. And for those, the viewers, if you guys want to you know, see me collab with a couple other uh, content creators, do comment down below and tell me. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, Chaldea Gurus, Musaki, and uh, To Love Trouble, I will message you guys about your winnings. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.